insert. I'm gonna put that there. It's been a while. It's been six months. Hi. Okay, so I ended up moving my channel over to another account only because a couple of years ago I wanted to have a YouTube channel about the Hunger Games. I was obsessed. And so my username was Miss All About the Games. Yes, I know, it's embarrassing. I was like 12, things happened. And then earlier this year, I wanted to make a YouTube channel and just use that. But you can't really change your URL, URL, I think. I'm not sure how it works. YouTube confuses me a lot of the time. But yeah, so whenever you try to look me up, you got nothing. You look up yourself about the games, I'm right here. So I decided that I would just move everything over. All of my videos are on this new channel. If you look up Isabella Jane, it's right there. But just, yeah, now I have no subscribers and no views. But yeah, so it kind of sucks, but it will be better in the long run. Anyway, so it's October 3rd today. And so I figured I'd do a September favourites. I got my inspiration to do this video from my biffle, um, Adeline Bray. She has a YouTube channel and she just put up a video, September Favourites. And I watched it and I was like, yes. And it inspired me to come back and do a video. So here I am. So Adeline, thank you. But yeah, today I'm doing a September Favourites and I have all my stuff laid out here that I've been loving last month. I'll just warn you that a few of them are from like a couple days ago, but it still counts. I got this candle um, for my birthday from my, my BFFs, Jordan. Um, and it just, I can't remember what it was called, but it smells amazing. And I'm devastated because I can't burn it anymore because there's no wick left. But it just, it smells so amazing. And it just, it has two, it had two little wicks and it was just so, in the like, look at the casing. Even that makes so much noise. Ugh. It is so pretty and I just, I loved it and I need to ask her where she got it because I want another one. Next, I have my Garnier BB Cream Miracle Skin Perfector. Um, and it's a daily all-in-one BB Cream. And it's in the colour Light Clear. And it's just, I pretty much wear this every day. And especially if my skin is looking completely terrible because I either haven't washed it the night before or it just had a meltdown. <laughs> it just, it goes on really nicely, nicely. It evens out your skin. It's just my fave. I've tried out the Maybelline BB cream, but this stuff can't compare. Mascara. Okay, so over the last couple of months I've been really getting into beauty and makeup and all that jazz. So of course I've started to build up my collection and I had to get of course a good old mascara. I have the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof. I freaking love this. You have no idea. I started off with... I can't think of what it's called. I will put it here. Um, and it was good but... It wasn't great. When I applied it, I would get it everywhere. And I'm not sure if that was just me being terrible. Or it was ter I don't know. Either way, just when I got this, it made a huge difference. It, it makes my eyelashes look ridiculously thick. And they're not that thick. Um, and it just goes on really nicely. It doesn't clump my eyelashes. It just, I love it. It's my favourite. And my September favourites. This has probably been the best thing this month. And that's saying a lot because I have quite a few things. Ooh, how am I going to get through this? It's amazing. I've said it about 50 times, but I can't stress enough how good it is. Just please. If you want a mascara that's good, buy it. Next I have a purple cream. I have really dry lips. If I put on lip gloss for a day and don't put this on beforehand, they will be cracking and chapped and terrible by the end of the day. I just, I cannot live without lip balm. And this one is just, it's purple. It's in the flavour watermelon. And it's just, it's 
gives a nice shine to your lips, but it still really moisturizes them and makes sure that I don't have terrible lips. It's just, it's not too big, you can carry it around. I can have it at school in my blazer pocket. It's just an amazing thing to have, and yes, pore pore cream. It goes on everything. If you have a pimple, if you have a sore, if you have a bite, like it's just, it works for everything. I love everything in this video apparently. I so love this. This is amazing. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, lip gloss. It's a beauty theme at the moment. We're on a roll. And this is the Maybelline Color Show by Colorama. Um, I haven't been showing them. Um, this is the color. It's very pretty. It's glitter, like it's shimmery. And it's got glitter in it. And it's just a nice color. It's not too pink and out there. So when you put it on, it gives more of a shimmer rather than, like, full on. <coughs> oh. Another one of my favorites is the e.l.f. cream blush. I have no... Oh, it has the color. I couldn't find the color before, but I found it. It's um, called Flirt, and there's a number and stuff. And it is... It's a bit dodgy because I've used it heaps. But it is this color, and it just goes on really nice and... You don't need a lot of it to get good colour. And it's just, it's very nice. Okay, let's move away from beauty for two seconds. These bad boys. They don't come in this jar, so that's sadly, this is a typo jar. Can I stress how much I love typo? Just side note. These are eucalyptus, I'll get a better one. Eucalyptus lollies. I don't know what the brand is. They just come in like a clear pack. You get like... A bazillion of them and they just think oh they smell so good and they're just little and they're just delicious <sighs> really Aussie but so good eucalyptus lollies dry them out and I put them in a little pretty jar and it's just I like a decoration for your room I absolutely love this um eyeshadow palette this is the revealed two palette by Crystal Sense and it's just, if you look at it, it's just got some really pretty colours. Like, there's a nice gold, which I use almost every day. It's just nice and pretty. And it's not too, whoa, you're wearing gold eyeshadow. It's more like soft and it just gives a nice glimmer. And I just, I love it so much. Um, the black is really pigmented, which is really good. So it doubles as like a liner. I use that as a liner. It's very good. Um, I love this pink shimmery colour. It just is one of those things you can just shove in your eyes and you're good to go. You don't need anything else. It's just nice and pink and corally and it's very pretty. Um, again, the browns here are very nice. should probably show you. And yeah, they're just really nice colours. That's a good highlighting colour. So is that one. Just I, I love this palette. Oh my god, okay, so I saw these a couple days ago, may not have been September, but that's not the point, I just needed to show these to you, they are the Lint Cappuccino chocolates, <sighs> Lint is my favourite, chocolate wise, everything wise, it's amazing, and I just, oh, and I love coffee, coffee is just... It's one of those things you really need to like drink heaps before you actually like it. It's an appliance paste. But I love myself a caramel latte. So the two together is amazing. And it's limited edition, so I'm kind of sad. Hopefully they just keep it as a thing forever. Because I need like a lifetime supply of these. If you ever want to get me a birthday present, this. This. It's just. Oh. I have this, I cannot, mm, this is going to be a tricky one to say, the bat, bat, just, 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 just. it's this dry shampoo, um, and it's Neon Lights Pomegranate and Jasmine Instant Hair Refresh for all hair types, it's limited edition, and it just, <laughs> it smells so good, I love pomegranate, so that's a plus. 
it's light so it doesn't cake down your hair. I've had dry shampoos before that full on left my hair feeling crunchy and I just, ugh, it was not good. Um, this one just, it doesn't, unless you spray it really close to your head, it's not going to leave your hair white like most do. And it just really, it makes a huge difference to your hair. If you could have disgust, like you could have not washed your hair for like a week, this would make it look decent. It's just, it's beautiful. It smells amazing and it works. <laughs> ah, it's just so good. This is um, my Colette bag, my Colette Heyman bag. Um, and I bought this a couple, three, maybe three weeks ago. So early September. Um, so pretty. It's got a nice like woven. Oh, it's not, is it woven? It's not really woven. But like um, herringbone detailing. And it's cream. And oh, it's a mess inside. But it's pretty generous inside. It's not too big. But it's like just the right size for me. Because I don't need a massive bag. And it's just so pretty. And I just I love it. It was only like. 40 bucks, which is pretty good for a handbag as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, this will hopefully be in the next one. That is favourites, because I just, I don't want to ever have any other bag apart from this, because it's just so cute, and I love it. Book. So right now, and in September, I have been reading The Time Traveler's Wife. I saw the movie a couple months ago, and I loved it. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't have understood the book if I hadn't read the movie because it's a freaking confusing book. But it's just so... Oh, it's just easy to lose yourself in. I'm about halfway, a bit more. Which is not very good because usually I can read quite quickly. But I don't know, lately I've just, I've been, I can't for some reason. But yeah. And you just, I love a good romantic love story and if you are a hopeless romantic this is a good book because it's just cute but it's kind of sad but it's very cute so good book actually finally I have swimmers Ugh. um which I don't really wear two pieces but this one's pretty coolio I'm just gonna try and fix this up because it's got like Okay, so it's two pieces, and it looks like, it doesn't really look that nice off, but when you put it on, it looks amazing. Um, yeah, so it looks like, the top looks like, okay, so the top looks like this, you can't really see it, um, and it's just like a, it's pretty simple, it's just black, um, it's a halter neck, is that what you call, is this, like, you could call this a halter neck, yeah, and a spaghetti strap. And it's backless. I didn't realise it was backless. I'm not that person usually. But it's quite cute when you put it on. And it just it looks nice. Adds a bit of detail to a quite a simple little top. And it's just very nice. Nice and comfy. And then there's these little... Uh, basically like grandma <laughs> like style... Um, bottoms. And they're just... Again, yeah, I'm not one to wear two pieces often and I don't like to generally wear bikinis so this is a good in the middle um, but it's quite thick here and it comes up quite high it's high waisted yeah and it's just a good in between like tankini and bikini so this has been my September favourites I can tell you there were one two three four five six I forgot something I lied. That was not the last thing. Okay, so I got this yesterday, but it's like, it's technically, like, it's two days after the end of September. I think we'll live. And that is, I'm just trying to load it up. Um, oh, we can play it. It's Wake Up by The Vance. I got it yesterday, and I just, I know it's not part of September, but I had to say something about it because it is just, oh, from previous videos, I think I've mentioned that I kind of love the vamps and their music. It's amazing. Um, and their EP came out yesterday, little promo. Um, 
and it's just a shitty ripple. But the cover art looks like that. <sighs> My little iPhone 4. Um, and it's just, it's really, it's their sounds, but more kind of techno-y, and it's got a new spin on it. It's a bit vamped up, you know? And it's just, oh, I've had it on repeat for like, since this morning, since about like 8 o'clock last night till about like 1 in the morning in my, like with my earphones on. I just, it's so good and I'm really excited to hear them in concert next January. <laughs> so after that little rant about Wake Up, which is freaking amazing, again, go buy it. I think that's it for the video, unless I miss something, so I'll just check. Because I like to forget things. I think we're good. Alrighty, so this has been my September favourites. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope it was somewhat entertaining to see all the stuff that I've liked this month. So I hope you enjoyed. You can like, subscribe, share with your friends. That would be super cool. And I guess until next time. Bye!